Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and today I have some Exo Survival gameplay in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, where I actually get one of the most difficult achievements in the game, which is for flipping an Exo Survival map twice, which means I essentially beat 50 rounds of the game. Uh, this is round 50 you're seeing right here, and it's a very, very difficult way. Uh, the way I got through it was, you know, clever killstreak usage, but I figured I'd just show you some gameplay off, you know, the round 50-ish sort of area, because it gets very intense and fun, and I figured I'd give you some tips about all the different areas of the Exo Survival, because I've played a lot of games now, and I've kind of worked out what works and what doesn't so I'll be talking about the kill streaks. I'll be talking about you know your like actual class setup and I'll be talking about what weapons are good and what weapons are bad and hopefully you know something can help you get round 52 because uh, it's a pretty cool achievement to have in your collection so uh, let's get started then with kill streaks because you saw me use one at the start there uh, that XS1 Vulcan was a lot better than I figured it'd be like at the start of a round and um, basically there's a few things you should realize like there are a few kill streaks worth keeping and there are a few kill streaks that aren't so a good example of one that is the warbird can get you like 15 20 kills around if he's great. Uh, the missile strike can kill a Goliath and uh, also you know, a few enemies around him. Uh, you've also got stuff like the remote sentry, which you know, when upgraded, can really really help out. Uh, but there are killstreaks like the UAV, which are kind of useful, and the Goliath, which are, you know, they're, they're useful, but they don't really help out that much and they're the ones that you want to avoid. Always go with like the Warbird or a missile strike or a, a Vulcan for later rounds, which you've got upgraded. It would be my advice here. So uh, that's killstreaks. Next, I'm going to go for ritual class. So I used to be of the opinion that either light or heavy was the way to go, because light actually gives you boost jumping and heavy gives you so much health. However, specialist is a really nice ground between the two. So you don't get the booster sprints and stuff, but you do get to move around the map fast, which is very, very helpful. Plus, once you get the weapons free stuff, you can put whatever weapons you want on there. And yeah, it's 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 you know kind of difficult to use up to weapons free, but it's still a very, very nice class for you know once you get it, because then you can have an assault rifle, but you can move around at regular speeds, and that will save your life a few times. In addition to that, it comes free with the exo ability I recommend, which is uh, the cloak one, because uh, being able to cloak is kind of like you know a way out of some situations. If you see yourself getting swarmed, if you cloak. Uh, you know, a lot of the times you can get still get killed, and I lost this gameplay because I cloaked and got killed anyway. But like, you know, in the early rounds in particular, like the enemies just you know miss you for a second. It also makes bomb defusal a lot, lot easier. So yeah, that's always useful. So uh, you're noticing here as I finish off uh, Ray 50 with the two Goliaths, um, that the assault rifle I recommend or the weapon I recommend in general. I think the IMR is a really good primary weapon because. As you can see here, like it's so it's, it covers all the ranges. So at close range, you can hit fire if you got a laser sight, and it does really well. Like it can two burst people. Uh, at longer ranges, you can one burst people. You know, if you get them in the head and stuff. And it's a really, really good weapon because you can just you know take out enemies before they can even you know actually have a shot at you, which is what you really want to do in this game mode. If there's 20, 30 enemies, it's nice to take it down to like 15 that can actually shoot you. So that's what I recommend as far as the actual you know primary weapon goes. But what about the secondary? So uh, honestly, like having a secondary weapon. If you chose the primary that doesn't have unlimited ammo, like the IMR, or it doesn't have unlimited but it regenerates so you don't have to worry about it, uh, I recommend picking you know, a secondary that does have that, so either a laser weapon or something like that. If you're okay with just spending upgrade points, like I've got 35 here as you can see, if you're, okay, if you're okay with spending upgrade points on refilling your ammo, then just get something that's good at close range. So like the dual uh, SMGs are a great cool. Uh, any of the shotguns work great, just something that will get you out of trouble in a hurry, uh, or you know, something with high mobility to get you around. Ideally, something that can do both, so the Akimbo SMGs and the shotguns do that. But, you know, you can pick whatever really works for you. With fast hands, it doesn't really matter because you'll switch between them instantly. Uh, what I don't recommend is having two primary weapons that do the same thing, so like an AK-12 and an IMR, or like, you know, two sniper rifles. Uh, I find you need to have two different weapons because you're going to be moving around different parts of the map where you need to be watching out for enemies in front of you, and sometimes you need to watch out for enemies at distance. That's that's just kind of how it goes. You want to do both really well, ideally. At least that's how I think it goes. Um, so yeah, there's that. So um, that, that'd that be my general like actual class help for Exo Survival. As far as what you should do in it, uh, honestly, just try and move around as much as you can. So uh, it, if you have a turret set down, if you're using the specialist class, uh, then it's not so important. But if you're moving around a lot, then you won't get swarmed, there won't be five enemies, and you can just kill enemies as you walk past them. And it takes longer, but it's a much better solution. So yeah, that's how I recommend you get a double flipped exo survival, like how I've done here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, as I said, this is a really high round for me, at least, and uh, I'm pretty proud of it, so I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let me know with a like if you did. It helps out the channel and the video a lot. Other than that, you can share the video if you really liked it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.